My name is Michelle Bredex. I am the program coordinator for the Greenwood Cultural Center housed in the historic Greenwood District in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So the Greenwood District in Tulsa, Oklahoma is historic because it once housed more than 300 black owned businesses. By 1921, black entrepreneurs had built the most successful black owned business district in all of America. There were hundreds of businesses, including hotels, restaurants, movie theaters, law offices, doctor's offices, restaurants, the list goes on and on. It is also where the 1921 Tulsa Race Massacre destroyed the community that the African-American community had worked so hard to build. More than 1,000 homes were burned to the ground, more than 300 Black-owned businesses completely destroyed, all within a 24-hour period. So for many years, most people knew nothing about the history of the 1921 Tulsa Race Massacre or of Black Wall Street. And our founders and the community felt that it was important that we acknowledge and recognize this important part of not only our history, but of America's history. So the Greenwood Cultural Center was formed in part to make sure that that story was never forgotten. Since the very beginning, now for nearly 30 years, we have offered summer programming for young children in our community. The children have the opportunity to explore various forms of the arts, but also to learn about our history. Our core program for the summer is currently our Young Entrepreneurship Program, where children are taught about the history of individuals such as O.W. Gurley and J.B. Stratford, John and Lula Williams, and they learn what it meant for them to be Black entrepreneurs in the 1920s and after the rebuilding. So they spend the month here at the Greenwood Cultural Center learning about entrepreneurship, developing their own skills and exploring what that may look like for them, what are their interests. At the end of the month, we recreate Black Wall Street in our Renaissance Hall. The kids have spent the month creating their own products, which is usually tie-dye t-shirts and lip balms, artwork, etc. And they sell their products. You can see the light in their eyes. You can see the spark. Many of them for perhaps the first time and believe that they can be entrepreneurs. So I'm so proud of the work that the Greenwood Cultural Center does and has done for many years. As we look towards the future, we envision a more equitable society where our children have been empowered because they are now more educated about our history, about who we are and our strengths. We envision a future where our children have now become entrepreneurs and they are generating generational wealth for generations to come. Thank you so much to the T.D. Jakes Foundation and Wells Fargo. Your investment is so important to our community. We truly appreciate your support.